Yonapot Kivanok. Thank you for joining me today. <clears throat> today, the United States announced sanctions on more than 50 entities and individuals across more than 20 jurisdictions in order to curb Russia's and sanctioned Russian persons access to the international financial system through the use of financial facilitators, co-opted financial institutions, and third country intermediaries. Among those designated are the Budapest-based Russia-controlled International Investment Bank and three of its senior executives resident in Hungary, including one Hungarian national, Nikolai Kashov, George Potapov, Imre Laslatsky. The presence of this opaque Kremlin platform in the heart of Hungary threatens the security and sovereignty of the Hungarian people, their European neighbors, and their NATO allies. Across multiple administrations, the United States has urged Hungary and other NATO member countries engaged with this Russian-controlled entity to take seriously the threat posed by Russia and other countries that do not share Western values, especially a commitment to democracy and rule of law. These concerns have only increased in light of Russia's brutal full-scale invasion of Ukraine and the atrocities its forces are committing every single day. Since this Russia-controlled entity moved from Moscow to Budapest in 2019, the United States has engaged the Hungarian government on numerous occasions to register our concern about the risks its presence in Hungary poses for the NATO alliance. We have consistently shared information with our Hungarian partners about the myriad ways Russia could use this platform to expand its malign influence in Hungary and across the region. Unlike other NATO allies previously engaged with this Russian entity, Hungary has dismissed the concerns of the United States government regarding the risks its continued presence poses to the alliance. It has been reported that Hungary's own central bank has recommended Hungary cut ties with this Russian entity because of the risks its presence in Budapest poses to Hungary's economy. Yet the Hungar Hungarian government has remained committed to hosting Russia's International Investment Bank. We have concerns about the continued eagerness of Hungarian leaders to expand and deepen ties with the Russian Federation, despite Russia's ongoing brutal aggression against Ukraine and threat to transatlantic security. Close economic engagement with Russia feeds the Russian war machine, which threatens transatlantic security. With this announcement, the United States is demonstrating that we will take action in response to Hungary's choices and to curb the access of Russia and sanctioned Russian persons to the international financial system. Let me conclude by saying, the US-Hungary relationship is longstanding. It is important. It's important to us. The United States is committed to a close and constructive relationship with Hungary, our valued NATO ally. We need to work together to address the serious issues we face, and this action is one step in that direction. And with that, I'll be, I'll be happy to take a couple of questions. Take the first question from RTL. Look, we're, we're really focused on how we can work with the Hungarian government to address shared challenges. Uh, fundamentally, Hungary and the United States are in the same boat. We're, we're, we're facing and confronting and navigating a very dangerous moment in the region. There's a land war next door. This is a relationship that will be strengthened by bringing us closer together. And I'm, I continue to be optimistic about this relationship. I believe that through candor, 
and direct engagement at the senior most levels of this government, and honesty about the challenges that we're facing, uh, and action when those challenges aren't addressed, we can make progress together. I think a question from Magyar Nemzat. Um, thank you very much. Um, my name is Zoltan Mikhtar, um, Your Excellency, your, your personal essay is an invitation to the European Parliament member, Mark Bell, and leadership who will be on the ship of the Kids for the Hungary. And uh, I'm not sure, uh, I'm sure you're aware of that. Uh, Martin Luther a few years ago uh, actively made fair right and, and he signed some statements for which, um, for example, uh, under Schleich's statute, uh, President of the Martin Luther claimed that Martin Luther King could not be desirable uh, guest in the circle. So my question, uh, Mr. Ambassador, is why was the English invited uh, to this dinner, knowing that uh, it's sensitive to the Hungarian Jewish community? And if you may ask another one, uh, that uh, do you know what intelligence information has been gathered and which Hungarian politicians have been interrogated and monitored by the US intelligence services? Uh, so who are these Hungarian politicians? So, so thank you for your question, I, I'm, I, and I'm glad you're here. Um, you know, I, I don't know how many Passover seders you've been to. Um, I've been attending Passover seders since the very first year of my life and every year thereafter. And at the Passover seder, usually, at least in my household, it's a robust debate, sometimes lively, sometimes heightened, but it's a discussion about issues involving subjugation, liberty, freedom. The member of European Parliament that you referenced was invited to my Passover Seder, not in spite of, but because of the fact that he has used repulsive, repugnant, anti-Semitic language, anti-LGBT language, and language that we find offensive, language that he has now purportedly disavowed. That he was prepared to sit at my table, don a kippah, surrounded by members of the lesbian, gay, Jewish community at my table, and have a discussion about these issues is significant. I will say, I think it is really important that we continue to engage with Hungarians from all perspectives, even those perspectives that we adamantly disagree. We have time for one last question from Politico. Um, thank you, Ambassador Levi from Politico. Um, first of all, do you see the IID as part of a broader problem? Um, how do you respond to continued anti-American rhetoric and conspiracy theories um, aired by uh, figures close to the Hungarian government. And finally, I was wondering if you'd like to comment on whether you think um, that the issues that you describe today will impact the United States' relationship with Hungary um, w within the context of NATO. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for the question. I, look, this is, the, this is a relationship that we value. And it's a complicated relationship, and this is a moment that really requires care for this relationship. It also requires honesty, and it requires work. Um, I'm confident that, uh, that the Hungarian government is keenly aware of our concerns about the International Investment Bank. I know that because I've raised this issue with the Hungarian government. My predecessor has raised this issue with the Hungarian government. And while the rest of NATO and the EU is working hard to stand up resolutely against Russian aggression and to push the Russian Federation out, Hungary's choice to continue to host the International Investment Bank, a Russian controlled entity within EU and NATO territory is a cause of enormous concern. Uh, the fact that individuals associated with the IIB receive diplomatic passports and the immunities and privileges associated with those passports create the risk for espionage within a NATO ally and within the alliance. Uh, these, these are not issues that are optional to address, they're issues that are urgent to address. Um, and we would like to begin to work more closely and collaboratively with the Hungarian government to address the full range of issues that we're mutually confronting. Because candidly, and, and I began with this and I'll just conclude with this point, we are in this together. And this is a relationship that despite the rhetoric that you reference, um, which we find in some cases unrecognizable from a NATO ally. Despite that rhetoric, we're invested in this relationship because we care about Hungary. We care about the Hungarian people. Um, we believe that our future is together and that it requires work. Um, so less politics, more work, and that's the way forward, I think. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it.